What's up, Internet? I hope you're having an amazing day, and with that, uh, today I am actually talking about um, VR headsets. Um, I know that this is nothing new, nothing exciting, but I recently watched a video from GameRanks, and they reviewed the two latest headsets from Oculus, the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Rift S. So, uh... After watching that review, it's pro I mean, it's probably not best to direct you to another gaming channel to watch a review, but I can't afford these headsets. Regardless, after I watched that review, I got super excited for the VR headsets, and now I really, really want one, and yeah, I just wanted to talk about that for a little bit today. So, as I mentioned, there are two different headsets. One is completely wireless, and that is the Oculus Quest. This one is completely wireless. Everything is processed right here in front of the goggles. Um, there are no wires or anything else, and then obviously you have the two controllers as well. Um, now there are actually two versions of this particular VR headset, of the VR Quest. The only difference between the two, as far as I can tell, is actually the amount of storage it has. So, uh, since everything is processed and housed right on the headset itself, uh, there is one version that is only 64 gigabytes, and then the other one is 128 gigabytes. I don't really know which one I would go for, I don't know how large these games are, but uh, in the in Game Rank's review of it, they did mention that the graphics weren't as good as, say, the wired one. But it was really convenient to be able to have no wires at all and everything just being contained within the headset itself. That to me seems like a really fun idea, and I really, if I were to go for one, that would be. I well, that might be. Well, I honestly don't know which headset I would go for because both of them seem like an amazing experience. Some other things that did. Come come up about with, with that particular headset was that you could actually cast it to a TV with like a Chromecast or a smart TV so that everyone else in the room could see like what games you were playing. It definitely seems like a more uh, social headset so that you so that you're able to do it with a group or anything like that to be it's it's more of a social uh, gaming experience yeah, to an extent. Um, but essentially what what you do is uh, once you put the headset on you map out a the area that you are in and then uh, once you get close to that to the boundaries of that area the VR headset will tell you like what's going on and all that good stuff so that is the oculus quest um, the other one that uh, was put out was the oculus rift s which is just kind of an upgrade from the oculus that they put out previously now now this one does have wires attached to it because obviously it is connected to a PC with that being said that does mean that this headset is more powerful than the wireless counterpart, which means the graphics are better and uh, everything just kind of seems to, to flow a bit better, but um, Game Ranks did say that after uh, they played with the wireless headset versus the wired headset, it seemed a little weird to be, help to be able to have to worry about the cables and all that stuff again. Now, in my personal experience, um, I really don't know which one would be better for me. I would prefer to try both. Um, part of what was holding me back before was I didn't even have a computer that would be able to handle it. Now that I do have a computer that is able to handle this, uh, the like VR and uh, just high gaming cap capabilities, uh, I am much more tempted to uh, give it a try because I, I would really like to invest in it and like to experience it firsthand but uh, unfortunately I do not have the money for it because because I can just imagine if I tried to do this on my old laptop my it probably just would have combusted and burst into flames and that would have been tragic for everybody but I don't know I, I would really like to get my hands on one or both of these VR headsets if I had to choose one I would probably go for the wireless uh, the only thing with the wireless is you have like I, I, I don't remember exactly where the games come from but with the wired headset that is fully supported through Steam so that that is a interesting uh, contrast between the two but um, I would I might actually have to go for the wireless simply for the fact um, that it's much more social it would be fun to do it with friends and all that good stuff while the wired one does seem a bit uh, more of a independent gaming experience rather than a social one um, Realistically, I, w I would just like to have both. I, I, that would be ideal for me. 
But um, after watching Game Rank's video, and I know that I, and I am basing a lot of it on this just because I trust them, I trust them 100% and uh, all that good stuff, so go check out their video. But after watching it, it really made me want to invest in VR because it never really interested me before. Partially because it was expensive, partially because I didn't have the tech to be able to use it, and partially because, I don't know, it just the technology still just seemed a bit far off for me. But after seeing gameplay and footage and all that stuff, I am excited for it and I would love to hear what you guys actually think about VR. Are you excited for it? Do you actually own any of these? I would love to hear from you. Um, do you, are you interested in buying it but like just have some sort of limitation? Anything, any thoughts and comments along those lines, I would love to hear from you down in the comment section below. And uh, if you like this video, remember to hit that thumbs up button and also if you didn't like the video, you can hit the thumbs down button, uh, but just leave a comment as to what I can try to improve or anything like that, just so I can make it a better viewing experience for one and all. Last but not well, last but not least, uh, if you really like this video and like seeing my face and have seen a couple of my other videos, you really should consider subscribing and remember to ring that little bell so you know when I post new videos and stream and any new content there as well. Uh, and also, I am on the uh, well, not the three main, but I am on three uh, social media platforms. I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Feel free to hit me up, like, follow, comment, subscribe, uh, all that good stuff uh, on those. Social media platforms as well. And with all that being said, this is 3G Geek signing off.